video is about logarithmic scales. Let's examine a question. Since the middle of the last century, the magnitude of earthquakes has been measured using the Richter scale, which uses the following equation. Magnitude, which is equal to the magnitude reported, is equal to the log of i, the intensity of that earthquake measured as the amplitude of a seismographic reading 100 kilometers from the epicenter, divided by s, where s is the intensity of an earthquake with a magnitude of zero. When we use logarithmic scales, what we're trying to do essentially is compress data in such a way that we can put it on a scale where we can look at it all together. There's an, ex an example in your textbook about the distance of different planets from the sun. And we start with some that are close, and they start getting so far away that you can't really use one scale just with strict miles away from the sun to try and define these all together. So when we use logarithmic scales, what we're able to do is put this into a log system that makes it easier to work with the information. So let's examine some of these questions that we have here. We're curious in part for part one. The recent 2011 Washington DC earthquake had a reported magnitude of 5.8 on the Richter scale. How much stronger was the 2011 Earth Japanese earthquake that had a reported magnitude of 8.9? What we're interested in here is isolating the ratio of the intensity of the, the earthquake in Japan to the intensity of the earthquake in DC. I want to isolate this particular ratio here to find out how many more times an earthquake of 8.9, how much more intense it is than one of 5.8. Because we're working on a logarithmic scale, we know that for every increase of 1 on our Richter scale, an increase of 1.0 means an earthquake is 10 times more intense. So an earthquake that measures 5.0 is 10 times more intense than one that measured 4.0. Okay, let's see how we're going to identify and isolate this particular ratio here. Again, my equation is the magnitude is equal to the log of the intensity of that earthquake divided by the standard intensity of an earthquake that has a reported magnitude of zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by looking at each of my earthquakes. The magnitude of the Japanese earthquake is equal to the log of the intensity of the Japanese earthquake divided by s. At the same way, the magnitude of the DC earthquake is equal to the log of the intensity of the DC earthquake divided by s. I know that in this case, this is equal to 8.9. And in this case over here for DC, this is equal to 5.8. So I know that the magnitude of Jap the Japanese earthquake minus the magnitude of the DC earthquake is equal to 8.9 minus 5.8, which is equal to 3.1. So 3.1 here is my difference in magnitude. But again, what I'm looking for is the ratio in intensities over here. So let's see how we can start splitting this up. Well, I know from my formula right here that I can plug in this, and I can plug in this into this part of the equation. So log ij minus s, which is equal to the magnitude of the Japanese earthquake, minus log of idc divided by s is equal to the difference between the two in magnitude of 3.1. So when I'm doing this, what I want to do next is I want to figure out how I'm going to start getting to again to this ratio here. So there's a rule that we know from logarithms of this. And this is a, just a simple logarithmic rule. We know that the log of a divided by e, b is equal to the log of a minus the log of b. So what I can start doing is separating out this equation right here. I can say that the log of ij minus the log of s, because what I've done is I've assumed a, b here is a and b, minus, because again that's my formula, minus the log of IDC minus the log of S is equal to 3.1. Because then I just separated out this one, assuming this was A and this one was B. So now that I have this, I can do a little work with my parentheses and I end up with log IJ minus log S minus log IDC plus, because we've got negative and a negative here, plus log s is equal to 3.1. Well, 
my log s's are going to cancel each other out, so I end up with log ij minus log idc is equal to 3.1. So how am I going to start figuring from here? What am I going to be able to do? Well, we can use the same rule we used up above to now take something from being a subtraction like this to being a ratio. And I can say that the log ij divided by idc is equal to 3.1. Because now I've just reversed it. I had something that was log a minus log b, and I turned it into log a divided by b. So how am I going to now separate out so I just have this ratio because I don't want the log? Well, just like we could take the square root of both sides of the problem or we could square both sides of the problem, I can also make both sides of the problem powers of 10. So 10 to the log ij divided by idc is equal 10 to the 3.1. Now we have another rule that's going to help us here. Here's another rule of logarithms. It's a rule that 10 to the log x is equal to x. I've got my log x up here. So 10 to the log ij divided by idc is going to be equal to ij divided by idc is equal to 10 to the 3.1. If you remember, this was the ratio that we wanted to isolate, the intensity of the earthquake in Japan divided by the intensity of the earthquake in DC. So it turns out, but my ratio like this, 10 to the 3.1, is 1,258.5, roughly. So it's going to be roughly 1,259. So the earthquake in Japan was 1,250 times more intense. So that is the answer to the first part. So the Japanese earthquake, Japanese earthquake, was roughly times more intense. So now let's look at part B, which is a similar kind of question. The Japanese earthquake that we mentioned above was 63 times stronger than one of the most recent devastating American earthquakes in San Francisco in 1989. Given that information, what was the reported magnitude of that earthquake? All right, so now we've, got, we've been given the difference in intensities, which is 63 times. So how are we going to solve back for actually what the reported magnitude was in San Francisco? So here's the information we have this time. We know that the magnitude in Japan is equal to the log of ij divided by s, which was equal to 8.9. The magnitude in San Francisco is equal to the log of i San Francisco divided by s, but we don't know what that reported magnitude was. We do know, however, that the intensity in San Francisco was 1 63rd of the intensity in Japan. So we can use this to plug in, and we can say that the magnitude in San Francisco is actually equal to, we're going to plug this in for the intensity in San Francisco here, and say the magnitude in San Francisco is equal to the log of 1 63rd ij divided by s. So once we have this, because what we did is we plugged into right here, so now that I have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start solving for the magnitude in San Francisco. Remember our rule over here, where we can separate out when things are divided like this? I can say that the magnitude in San Francisco is equal to the log of 1 63rd, the intensity in Japan, minus the log for the standard earthquake with a magnitude of 0, or s. Now that we've got these, I can start separating out. So this is going to need another rule to separate this one out. And that rule is that the log of a times b is equal to the log of a plus the log of b. So I can separate out and say that the, me, the magnitude in San Francisco is equal to the log of 1 63rd plus the log of the intensity in Japan minus the log for s. Using that, I can do a little work here to say, with some parentheses, 
to say that the log of 1 63rd plus the log of ij minus the log of s, because this is going to take me back to my rule before, right here when I'm dealing with subtraction and division, and I can plug that in to say that the magnitude in San Francisco is equal to the log of 163rd plus the log of ij divided by s. Using that, I know what the answer is here. The log of ij divided by s is equal to the magnitude that we had in Japan, which was 8.9. So the answer here is 8.9, and I can calculate the log of 1 63rd, which ends up being negative 1.8. So the magnitude of the earthquake in San Francisco is equal to negative 1.8 plus 8.9, which is equal to 7.1. So I have determined what the reported magnitude was given the strength of the intensity difference. So my answer here is the reported magnitude of the San Francisco earthquake was 7.1 on the Richter scale. I hope this has been a helpful video for you to understand how to use logarithmic scales. Thanks for listening.